I think Taurus energy is, especially with the, with the summer of love, I, I think that, you know, I'm finding a merging of, of self-love with a collective love as well as an individual, you know, love. So I really find Taurus understanding what love really means outside of the doer um, and the bull in China shop energy of love. I'm going to love you and just take my love. So yeah. I, I really feel like it's, you're going to find the balance, the Taurus energy in the summer of love. And so I think that, you know, Tauruses will find a slow romance something that allows them to settle in um and to win their trust over so i think those looking for for dating and, and romance will find that kind of slow you know building type of energy and connection um because i feel taurus is being very hesitant this year extremely hesitant more than ever um with relationships and i i think it's because you have now at a just juxtaposition of i've been burnt but i've been the one fucking it up so i actually need to like do something about this and really kind of focus on how i'm managing my energy so that realization goes into the summer it's like i've done that i feel good i feel protective and let me just let me get my feet wet now and i feel like that's gonna be wonderful i think tauruses might have more than one options this summer um, you know, depending on how how active they are in that evolution, you know, those who are already in relationships, I feel a huge breakthrough in communication, huge breakthrough in communication, and um, and more so a sensitivity mm. in communication. Uh, and so I, I think that's another way that's going to help you know evolve and that that love energy again is through that you know uh, sensitivity of communication. And you know, sometimes Tauruses like to talk and not and not to listen, and so I think you'll be more listeners, huh? less talkers. Yeah. <laughs> I must be psychic what, or something. <laughs> you must be just a wee little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's and then, true. And then those who are not looking for relationships, you know, I, I, you know, I see more literary connections for Tauruses in the summer. If they're just looking for something additional in their life, so those who are writers get to writing. Those who really want to read that book, read that book. Those who want to maybe express their viewpoints through a blog, do it. So I think that a great time for to find a love and expressing yourself through verbiage. A lot of communication shifts with Taurus for me in the summer. Brilliant. Well, the astrology supports that hundred percent. We, we've had Jupiter in our signs. So I think we are changing and growing and I think we're attracting a different type of personality. So I think we're a little reluctant because, um, what we always are go to is not what is coming up is what I'm starting to notice already. There's different types coming in Saturn in the house of society for Taurus. I feel like we're going to be traveling a lot, seeing the world <clears throat> introduced, I think to accept eccentric types outside right. of our normal type. I think it's part of it. So when you were talking about the reluctancy or being a little slow, I think it's because it's going to be foreign. Right. To us. Exactly. Yes. Um, I think, uh, but, I, but good, because let me tell you what we've been right. doing has not been working, you know? Right. Like, so, so, right. so foreign is a good thing. I also think we're feeling very big. I mean, we're, 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 we're more, we're in our best light that we've ever been, you know, for us. So we're getting used to uh, the new us, Yes. you know, Jupiter's in our house of money and manifestation, which is Gemini. So what we do is make ideas happen. Right. So I totally feel what you're saying about, yep. you know, connecting into a lot of intellectual connections. I think Taurus is going to have a lot of friendships come in. Let me tell you that. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. But, I mean, it, it, but, but, but the, the thing is you guys might find some friends with benefits too. Like you, I think you guys will confuse that too, at some point, because finally that connection, <laughs> you know, so I don't know what's Guilty about that area. Right? That's <laughs> so. always the case. No, that's just always the case. I'm always like, my whole life is like friend or am I supposed to, you know, like, I don't know. Like I never so, know. But you, you might find a balance. You guys might, you guys might find the balance of that, you know, this summer too, realizing, you know what, maybe this is just a friend. Maybe I don't need to push it romantically and, and allowing the romantic connections to take the space. Because then when you do that, you're letting friendship, intimate connections take the space. And then there's no room for romance romance or in, really in, intimacy in the sense. So I, I really think you guys will be very kind of aware of that and communicate that more effectively. And so it's a good change. You know, the communication aspect really, you know, uh, emphasizes this year in a way it's going to get you what you want in your relationship. So, uh, yeah, it's all positive, of course. I mean, all these evolutions this year are going to be very positive, you know, but again, those resisting it are going to have, again, the flipping of being taken advantage of and and then not being heard. So there's also the opposite side of things of those who are being resistant and, you know, not wanting to follow what where the trend is going energetically, they're going to have the complete opposite, you know, feeling yeah. like they need to express themselves, but can't, and then they're not being heard. So be, beware if you're not being, you know, going in, 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 in tune to the rhythm. Uh, now I sound like Gloria Estefan. <laughs> tune to the rhythm. Rhythm's going to get the night. Uh, <laughs> I will say, I'll just end with Taurus on the idea of open communication. I, I'm more confident now um, and maybe a little bit more 
I don't know, more care, self caring, but I used to worry about upsetting people. So I withheld a lot of information. I wasn't, right. it's not that I was dishonest. I just didn't, I was worried about hurting. Right. So I would just sort of keep things out and I kept people guessing and right. that turned out to be, so I do feel like in all my relationships, I'm being a lot more honest now already. Transparency. Or forthright, not honest, forthright. That's yeah. the better. Yeah. But also transparent, you know, because you got yes. when, he, when it comes to talking about you guys, oh, I'm, I'm going to go out here, stays left. It's like you guys, you know, sh you know, shut down. And so I, I, like I said, the communication will, of course, bring more transparency. And then, I mean, you guys, I love Taurus energies are so beautiful to me. I love Taurus energies. Um, I always gravitate to Tauruses and they're just to me very beautiful and so passionate. But I think, you know, the passion sometimes misguides the Taurus energy. But I think you're going to find more of that guidance of the balance of the passion and expression. So I want to be a little mm -hmm. longer on that because you're here. But um, yeah. <laughs> well, I wish we could say the same, Aqua. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's serious, John.